Yo guys, what's up, Z-Bats here, bringing you another Team Deathmatch video. It's on Convoy in the, uh, in the game Black Ops. Uh, I really like Convoy. It's one of my favorite maps in Black Ops. I don't know why, I think it's the way the map is, the way it's set up, and how I can maneuver myself inside this map. Um, I am using the Commando, one of my favorite weapons. And over here, I, um, I got caught by this um, Ghost Perk user. Didn't even notice he was there, and I, I was like, what the hell, I should have had him. But I paid the price. Anyways, Black Ops is such a different game than uh, the Modern Warfare series. Slow, it's a slower pace. And um, and you gotta have better accuracy than, than in Modern Warfare. Now, I don't know anything about the uh, World at War because I never played it. Uh, I never knew World at War existed. Until I play, I was playing this game. Because uh, my first ever Call of Duty game was uh, for the Nintendo Wii. And when that came, when that was released on the Wii, uh, it was um, Modern Warfare 2 already came out. And uh, I don't know, I, I was hearing a lot about Call of Duty, how popular it was. So I was like, nah, let me try a, a Call of Duty game, see how it is. And I got hooked up. Uh, but I never knew uh, what a war existed until I was playing Black Ops, so I never got a chance to uh, play World of War and see how the mechanics are in that game. So I don't know if it's similar to Black Ops or not, um, based on how fast how fast paced it is, how slow paced it is. But Black Ops is definitely a slower paced game than the Modern Warfare series, and so it kind of screwed me up on my gameplay earlier. But, you know, when you learn how to play these games, you know, you get better at them. And you learn tactics differently than other tactics you have previously, previously, ah, can't talk, previously learned. So, anyways, uh, this, was, uh, this match is pretty good. You know, I did real, real well with this game. Uh, there was another convoy map gameplay that I played. And it was fucking awesome, you know. I kept on getting the... The uh, what is it? The Blackbird, and uh, oh my god, the enemies just kept on coming. I was just whipping them and everything. So, but I don't know. I don't know what happened to that match. Uh, when I checked the theater mode, it was not there. I guess um, during the game, uh, the host migrated or something. I don't remember what happened in that game. So. It was not recorded and it was too bad. I would love to show you guys that match. Uh, but anyway, this was do. This one will do. Now, I'm running low kill streaks. Uh, because I got tired of. Like I said before, in my, one of my other videos I got deleted. Uh, I got tired of running high kill streaks and getting mad when not trying to get them. So, I run low kill streaks now. Like. At least up to 8. I think the 8 is the highest I've gone. Uh, I might go back to going to Chopper Gunner. Going back to 9. But I still haven't bought it yet in this game. But for, I think from now on I'm going to run low kill streaks. Because it's like, come on. There's too many kills. And in reality, you're not going to always get them. So I, I stick to the ones I know I'm going to get all, every, almost every game. Uh, but then again, you know, certain kill streaks, you know, we can use in coming. different gameplays. Since I mostly play uh, TDM, uh, since, uh, let me start this again. Since I normally play TDM as the gameplay I mostly play, I I, I should uh, use uh, low kill streaks. You know, I think it's better that way. But still, like, if I want to change to playing domination. I think running high, higher kill streaks will benefit better that way, uh, in my opinion, you know, because TDM, sometimes it's, these games last short, um, sometimes they last long, and um, but most of the time they last short, unless it's Black Ops, because most of the time in Black Ops, they're, they're pretty much long games, because of the size of the map and how slow paced it is. But, like, in a TDM match, it's, I think it's better to run low kill streaks. But if you're gonna play domination, run the high kill streaks. I think it's better that way. And I and I think that's 
the way the uh, the the developers want it to be that way, I guess, is to have different um, kill streak setups for different gameplay. Uh, Modern Warfare series, man, they honestly they go overboard with the kill streaks, man. It's, sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes it's just better to keep it simple with the kill streaks, I guess. But yeah, so yeah, now I'm running like low kill streaks, and maybe one day when I get a chance to play Domination, uh, I'll run the high kill streaks and how I see how I do there. Because, you know, with Domination, it's a longer gameplay than a TDM, so I'll probably do that. You know, change it to a higher kill streaks. Um. So yeah, right now I'm just checking my areas. Uh, like I said, guys, and of course, another one of my old videos that got deleted from YouTube. You know, you gotta check your surroundings. You know, you gotta be careful. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I got a good sense on uh, on how the enemy, where the um, enemies are at. Uh, but I don't take it for granted because I know people are using. If I'm playing Black Ops, I know people are using Ghosts. Or if I'm playing Modern Warfare 3, I know they're playing using uh, Assassin. So I take precaution on uh, what I do. Uh, I don't know something. I don't know with the Call of Duty series, man. It's a love hate thing. Ah, it's a love hate thing. Uh, with it, you know, some days. You love it because you just raping Our people, in the air. and then there's the other days you just in your area. not doing as well as you think you should. But you know, Call of Duty is one of the greatest uh, games that came out. He, even when it's two separate developers that have two different styles for their for the game, uh, which is real nice, you know. But, you know, there are things that do get a little bit old on the Call of Duty series. Uh, I'm right now I'm trying to draw out the, uh, this commentary because, like I said, the Black Ops gameplay are longer. Especially on TDM compared to, uh, compared to a Modern Warfare series where it's a faster pace. And the maps are a little bit shorter. So I mean, I do think Black Ops maps are bigger than they should be. Uh, I mean, it's not that bad, it's just... It's just sometimes too big, and um... Enemy spy I don't know, I sometimes I wish Call of uh, the developers of Call of Duty, whether whether it's Treyarch or... I don't know if Infinity and War ever gonna do another Call of Duty game. Maybe Sledgehammer would take that... Uh, take that as their new game to, uh, to make. Uh, but uh, I think I just think that they should make maps based on the gameplay. Say like if you're playing TDM, the map should be shorter and Our whatnot. And if air. you're playing Domination, the map should be a little bit larger. Uh, like the EA games, they they are mostly like that. Uh, you know they've depending on the amount of players in the in the in the game. Say like 12 players, 6 on 6, you know, uh, if it's more than that, like 12 on 12, the map should be bigger. But I don't know, I, I'm not a developer, so I don't know what the hell they think about the map. But hopefully the, the new uh, Bla Black Ops game, or the new Treyarch game, it's going to have smaller maps and easier to run around and be more faster paced. But anyways, that's the game here. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Good job, comrades. We are victorious.